Welcome everyone to this video. Today I'm going to walk you through how to increase privacy and security here in Microsoft Edge, as well as at the end of the video, I will give my thoughts on alternative web browsers that you could potentially switch to. To get started, we'll just click on the menu in the top right, go all the way down to Help and Feedback, and then over to About Microsoft Edge. And this will just confirm that Microsoft Edge is up to date. And then we're going to come back to the menu and this time go down to Extensions, and then we just want to click on manage extensions. The first thing here is you will want to flip on the developer mode and then click on update to make sure all of your extensions are up to date. Again, updates can include security updates and that's why this is important. Now, a quick note on extensions, they can be fun and convenient, but they can also be very bad for privacy and security. And so my recommendation is remove as many extensions as possible. Re remove them all if you can. If there's an extension you absolutely cannot part ways with, at least turn it off while it's not in use. But again, I would strongly recommend removing as many extensions as you can. Once you have completed that, we're going to click on the menu again and go down to settings. From here, you want to make sure that you have privacy search and services selected in the left hand column. And in short, you're going to want to go through all of the options here, but I'm going to focus on the main ones, the important ones that you definitely want to check. The first thing is tracking prevention. You do want to make sure this is toggled on and I do recommend you give the strict setting a try, but please note that parts of sites might not work. I would still try it. If there's a website that is absolutely giving you problems, you can come here and add it as an exception. Or an alternative is you can select balance and then for always use strict tracking prevention when in private windows, you can toggle this on. Though keep in mind this only benefits you if you remember to use a private window. So I think for most people using strict and adding exceptions is the best option. If we scroll down here under clear browsing data, we can choose what to clear. We can also choose what to clear every time you close the browser. You just click here and you can toggle these on as needed. And then continuing down underneath privacy, the do not track request, I would always have this turned on, but keep in mind it's up to websites that you visit to honor this, so there's no guarantee. And this option right here, yes, it is convenient to have this autofill and check for you, but it can also be a privacy and security problem. So generally I recommend leaving that off, but that is up to you. Continuing down to the telemetry and diagnostic data, all of these I would leave turned off. Continuing down to security, in short, all of these you're going to want turned on. Defender Smart Screen will just check to make sure that the sites you're going to aren't malicious as well as blocking potentially unwanted apps. So if it doesn't have a good reputation or a low reputation, it will flag it. There's also an option to help prevent you from going to the wrong website based on a typo. So you'll definitely want to make sure that is on. And then this option right here, get more information on the sites that you are going to. Basically, if I go over here and click on the added security, this top option is what is being displayed when that is toggled on. I can click on it and get more information. Basically allows you to check the reputation of the website you are going to. And then use secure DNS. You definitely want this on. There are options out there that may be more secure, more private, but at the bare minimum, you want to click on this drop down and make sure you have Cloudflare selected. And then as we scroll down, we have another option here for security. Again, I do recommend you try the strict option and please be aware parts of sites might not work, but if that comes up, try using the exception option listed here. You just click on add site to add exceptions. And then if I go back, alternatively, you can leave it on balanced and leave it toggled on for private browsing. But again, that only benefits you if you are someone who actively uses and remembers to use private windows. So generally speaking, I recommend you try strict and Add exceptions. For services, the general rule of thumb here is the more you have turned off, privacy goes up, but you lose the benefit of each one of these categories. So you, the user, you're going to have to personally decide which one of these you want on and which ones you want off. At minimum though, I would recommend going to the address bar and search and change this to something that's not Google, at least DuckDuckGo or something else. So that way you're at least upping the privacy of your search. Now there is one more setting that we want to go over that does not show up here by default. To get this option to display and enable it, you'll need to type in this exact address. It will be posted down in the notes down in the video description, which will list this option right here, automatic HTTPS, which will force secure versions of websites that you go to. And so it's going to be set to default, but if I go to enable and then click restart, and then after restart, if I go back to settings, and scroll down, there will be a new option right here 
where we can set it to always switch to HTTPS. Now please be aware of this warning. If this warning makes you feel uncomfortable using this feature, this would be the one area where I might make an exception for an extension, and that extension would be HTTPS anywhere, but that would probably be one of the very few exceptions I would make when it comes to extensions. Now there's two more areas that you'll want to check, the first one being profiles. Here on profiles, if you're looking to increase privacy, you may want to consider signing out of your profile. But in short, when you're staying signed in, you need to go through all of these listed here and turn as much off as possible. I would recommend going to manage account. Clicking on that will open up a new tab for your Microsoft account. This more has to do with the account than it does the browser settings. Regardless, you do want to review the privacy and security settings here. And then back on the profile options, I would recommend turning off sync. Yes, it's convenient, but if privacy is your priority, you do want to turn all of these off. Same with rewards, info, passwords. You really should not be saving those in the browsers to begin with. You should be using a dedicated password manager. Payment info, again, convenient, but not great for privacy and security. I would recommend turning those off. Import browser data, profile preferences. I would definitely turn off share browsing data with other Windows features. So again, just make sure you check all of these options and turn as much off as possible. The last area you will need to check is cookies and site permissions. You can right here manage and delete cookies and other site data, but the big things you want to check are locations. You want to double check to see which websites currently have access to your location. Same for camera, microphone, and just make sure you're aware of which sites are accessing those. If you want to increase security, you could disable JavaScript and add exceptions as needed, but keep in mind that could cause some problems with websites. I would also double check pop-ups, ads, and even background sync. Those are the main things that I would check, but if you would like, you can go through everything on this list. Some alternative browsers you may want to consider is the Brave web browser and Mozilla Firefox. Yes, there are some additional options, but for the average user, these are the two main alternatives I would recommend. Both Brave and Firefox are more catered to increasing privacy than Microsoft Edge is. However, I will point out that Microsoft Edge is still a huge improvement over Google Chrome. But that's everything for this video. If you have any comments or questions, please post them down below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please consider sharing it. And if you would like to support the channel, please hit that join button, the subscribe button, and that bell notification icon to get notifications on future videos. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you have a great day.